Hi Aries, it's Athena and welcome back to my channel. Happy New Year. A very happy New Year to each and every one of you. Okay, so this reading is for January 2020. But before I begin, let me say that I have decided to incorporate a song, one song for the entire year for all of us, right? So the song that I've chosen is John Lennon's Imagine. I printed out the lyrics because I don't know them by heart. Um, so let me just read a few of the lyrics for all for the month. I'm sorry, for the year of 2020. Imagine there's no heaven. It's easy if you try. No hell below us. Above us, only sky. Imagine there's no countries. It isn't hard to do. Nothing to kill or die for and no religion too. Imagine all the people living life in peace. You may say I'm a dreamer, but I'm not the only one. I hope someday you'll join us and the world will be as one. Imagine no possessions. I wonder if you can. No need for greed or hunger, a brotherhood of man. Imagine all the people sharing all the world. You may say I'm a dreamer, but I'm not the only one. I hope someday you'll join us and the world will live as one. Of course, this is not all of the lyrics. However, it is a very profound song from a man who wrote it and, and had a vision for the future or for what the future in his eyes looked like, right? It's interesting to think. So if you get a minute, download the song or the lyrics and you know, as it is not only imparting value to us in this lifetime, but also to our children and our children's children. So, okay. Um, what else was I going to say? I think that's it so that we can get going with the reading. Okay. If there is any of you who need any clearing, chakra clearing, I do chakra clearing, I do biofeedback on all levels. Chakras, um, I also do Reiki healing, remote healing on every level, mind, body, and soul. If you're interested or if you need anything at all, help get you through the dark night of the soul, I'm here. January for me is going to be beginning with, I'm going to be doing, starting um, live readings. I'm going to be starting doing Vimeo extended readings. We're going to get really involved in podcasts. And I'm hoping that mid to late 2020 for me, I will be able to share and or have a meet and greet in Los Angeles. Okay, so we're really raising the bar, I am, on my own goals. Not resolution, but goals. So hopefully you two are putting a plan in place. Okay, Aries, sun, moon, and rising for January. Sun, moon, rising, and Venus, excuse me. Okay, let's get started. Aries, nurturing the mother. A mother figure could be very important to you. The birth of a baby could be coming in. So some which would be really cool, right? Having a baby um, in the new 2020, that would, that's awesome. Um, all right, so there's a lot of growth and healing, nurturing, 
um, the quality of the growth is fresh. See, all, the, all of the fruits here are all coming out very fresh and green. So everything has cleared away so that everything can now grow. So this is also a rebirth. So this could be your actual mom holding you as a baby because many have gone through a rebirth, right, cycle. So this could be the energy of a mother holding the child, but it could be your mother holding you as a child being reborn, even if she's on the other side. These things take place, even if we don't see them, right? It's all about the imagination, right? Remember that for this year, child, see? So Aries, definitely a mother holding her children or child, Childhood, you're thinking about your childhood, about your mom, about how you were, you could be missing your mom. You could be giving and receiving to your children as a mother. Um, there's growth. This is, with growth comes self-esteem, right? We, we gain self-esteem through our own work on self, okay? This is beautiful, really beautiful. Okay, so let's put these, I'm gonna do these readings the same as I do every month. Let me move the camera so you could see. Okay, so let's continue. Aries, oh my God, look at this. Wow, okay, so the blessings of a child or twins has been born. This, this is beautiful. The blessings of giving and receiving love without denying one's own self-love. Because when you reach the empress, when you reach this, this pinnacle of being an empress, you've gone through all the kings and queens, right? The queens, I should say, because this is feminine for sure. Okay, so now you're being blessed with, well, not only the blessings of children, but it's also bringing us back to our childhood and how some of us are healing now from childhood and the things that we needed to learn have been learned, have been taught. Um, some of you will be teaching, I'm hearing, in the month of January or at least starting to teach others um, some of you are doing, I don't know, I'm hearing prenatal classes. Um, the star of hope, right? We came out of December with the star. So you're in particular, Aries, is you are receiving so many blessings from your ancestors. All the stars here are your ancestors just pouring down upon the earth and giving you so much abundant love, blessings, and healing. And of course, personal growth. How beautiful, really beautiful to start the new year this way. And if you have conceived twins and a boy and a girl, right? It's a boy and a girl, but if not, it is just congratulations if you have. If not, this is just your childhood and remembering what your mother, remembering your mother and how you were raised and going through a healing of some sort as well. I mean, right? There could be some healing that has, that you're going through with your mother figure if she's on the other side. If she is, that's the star. That is her blessing you and healing your childhood self, okay? Queen of Swords, wow. Okay, so it just came to me that the Queen of Swords, uh, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, this could also be your mother. I don't know why I heard that. Or it is a mother, okay? And blessings are coming in about to show you what you are going to be. You're being blessed with a lot of gifts. There's gifts in these cups. There are gifts. Is that a gift of a soulmate? It could be. 
is are you already paired up with a Gemini Libra Aquarius? If you are, this is the blessing from the universe saying that you're in the right place at the right time with the right person. Okay, you have hopes, you have dreams, you may be dreaming about your mom. You've had options here. You've had op different options. I know the Six of Cups is typically not the card of options. It usually is the Seven of Cups. But I'm feeling that you've had some options, whether you're a masculine or feminine. You've always had options, even during childhood. You have always found your way. Okay. I don't know who that, that may apply to, you know, you've always had abundance in your life. Abundant options, abundant blessings. So this Queen of Swords is could also be someone external to you, could be a friend, lover, partner, and or someone coming in for January for you. Okay, someone could be coming in and that is someone who is a past soulmate. Now, soulmates, do we know what soulmate? Let's let's just talk real quick. The blessings are from the Six of Cups is about a soulmate companion, okay? So are we healing from this soulmate uh, relationship? Is, is this a, you know, is the feminine healing, right? Where the masculine is just chilling, it looks like there's two healing properties here. And this could be the Gemini Libra Aquarius who's healing from childhood wounds. Okay. It, it is going to apply to how your life story is. Don't try to fit it into what you want it to make it. Okay. What I, what is being put out here through the cards and through my vision, you could be seeing something else and that could be just for you. Okay, I also noticed the rainbow. I'm looking at the rainbow of color in the two vases that are being poured out of the rainbow blessings. And as you can see, there's all the same colors in each of these cups. So whoever is looking for a soulmate know that the blessings of whom, whom, whomever you're searching for or whomever you want in your life is going to come in at the precise moment and the precise time. I'm also hearing this is an earth angel that you're finally also coming to terms with the understanding that this, if this is external to you, Aries, that this is an earth angel that could be a mother figure but is definitely here for a, the purpose of speaking their truth and, and sharing with you the truth and the use of an independent nature. What does that mean? It means that if you have had codependent issues in the past, this Queen of Swords teaches you and gifts you with independent, to be independent. Very much a spiritual figure here. Okay? She is intuitive. She is a visionary. This feminine. If you have air in your chart, that's you. If not, it's external to you. If it's a soulmate, this is who we're talking about. All right, let's continue. Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Oh my gosh. Aries. What is going on? There are so much, there are so many blessings here. And I find it really interesting. I got to tell you, I find it really interesting that not only are the colors depicting the blessings that are coming in, but the, the, the imagine it, the imagine, imagination, imagine all the blessings bestowed here for someone both females both feminines are naked right on each side of the queen of swords so the queen of swords doesn't mess 
at all. Naked in truth, raw truth, naked truth, whatever you want to call it, she is a visionary. She can see things happening before they happen. She knows the truth of a situation before it's happening. She speaks the truth of a situation. So as Aries, as you are either the one speaking this because you have Gemini, Libra, Aquarius in your chart, or you are learning from this Queen of Swords how to, to communicate your independent self to the world. And you're, heal, you're healing here. There's a mother in, on the other side that is definitely bestowing these blessings upon you. The blessing and not losing hope. Hopeful, hopeful. This is a hopeful uh, energy of a relationship that's meant to be. If this is your mom on the other side, she's a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. If that's the case, right? Don't try to fit it in. If your mom is on the other side, she is bestowing these blessings upon you from there. Right? Beautiful. Okay. All right. Let's continue. This is, and I decided that I'm going to do my readings for the month of January. I'm going to take my time because I want to give you the best of the best of this reading. Okay. Okay. That, all right. Now, I want to make sure that you can see these cards also. Hold on. Because I'm on a different angle this, this month. I chose to do something something a little differently. Okay, in terms of my angle. Okay, so now you're reversed, <laughs> Aries. You're reversed here. So why are you not feeling, you're not feeling this personal power. You're not feeling hope. I mean, you are hopeful. I mean, or is this the Queen of Swords we're talking about? Maybe this is father issues, right? Oh, and we have, right? We have the mother and the father here. Oh, yeah. Okay. So what do we have here? The blessings in this reading are from definite from childhood. If this relates to an issue of healing your father issues, or this could be the queen of swords. Oh, wow. Okay. So that just fell down right when I said that. So you know what that means. <laughs> that means, that means, hold on. That definitely is confirmation, Aries. Oh, wow. That was freaky. All right. And it happens. And that's what the beauty of going live is, you know? And I mean, in doing the readings like this, but going live would be, I mean, that's even, it's the same. All right. Let's go back. Let's go back to what's going on here, Aries. And this looks like either it's yourself healing father issues or it is the Queen of Swords healing father issues in this situation. This is definitely an issue from childhood that you're dealing with, right? And the mother, the mother is wanting to bestow the bless. The mother and father want to bestow the blessings, but you're either it's you or someone else here, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, that's still trying to heal father issues, your father issues. Okay. Or it could be both. I'm hearing it could be both of you healing. This being a mother, father, if there's a child here, there could be a father that's not around for the birth of a child, right? The father's not, is absent. And if that is the case and you're a single mom, then please, um, I send you my deepest regards for that because it's not easy being a single mom. Okay. So there are 
huge blessings on the way for you, Aries. But you're not saying it. You're not, you're just not seeing it. You are not enlightened to this, right? Okay. Interesting that the mother, right? Look at the mother comes in giving blessings of bestowing this the blessings on the childhood self, right? And then the childhood self grows up to be this queen of swords. You're dealing with the queen of swords because you're in Aries, which is your card right here. And in the middle of all the blessings that are being bestowed upon you, you're not seeing it. You're not privy to it. You're not seeing how this could possibly happen, right? Probably because of what has taken place in the past. So you're not feeling the blessings. You're not thinking there's going to be any blessings. You probably have surrendered to the fact that anything could be changed in this situation. If this is implying that this Queen of Swords is here, coming here to send you, give you blessings. I mean, like I said, this is an earth angel. As above, so below. This is earth, right? This is mother earth. This is mother earth, mother nature. As above, as above with the heavens, right? The heavens are huge blessings, so below. Abundant blessings on this. This could be a childhood love. And the universe is going to be bringing all these blessings to you, but Aries, you're you're not accepting it. You're not you're not open to this growth and to these blessings because you've had your your run with it, so to speak. Okay, right? You've had your time to assess to see what's happening here. I move those cards. That's better. Okay. So you're like, you're saying to yourself, Aries, if this is not your queen of swords is not in your chart, if you don't have air in your chart significantly, then mom is wanting to heal the childhood past in this relationship. And dad is not looking at these blessings because the father here is not, is not seeing it. You're reversed. You're, you may not be accepting it. You may not be. I, I, I mean, this is enlightenment. This is empowerment. So you're not in your, in your power because you don't see it happening, right? If you're a masculine, if you're a feminine, uh, Aries, then you definitely are just healing your childhood wounds from, ch you know, this could be a childhood love that you're healing from. Okay, that's what I'm seeing for the most part. I'm feeling that the truth that you've needed to hear and or see, were are this could be a blessing in disguise as well. Okay, I'm hearing that too. Okay, let's get some more cards. To, and I'm going to specifically ask for, I would like to, to get more insight on this re, for this reading to, to give us a progression, all right? Let's get a progressive clarity, clarifying cards. What is the process with regards to the healing, growth, and the blessings that are coming in for Aries that Aries is not seeing. Aries is kind of like, I don't see this happening. Okay, so give me a progression of cards, of messages. Okay, so what is this? Are we setting the new, a new foundation for this, for these blessings? So the blessing in disguise is making you stronger as well right? Because the root chakra, 
is all about grounding yourself. So whatever these this blessing in disguise is about, it could be very well be about setting the tone of getting your understanding what has transpired here so that you could get, you could be setting a new foundation for your future, right? At the root of it all, at the foundation, your what doesn't, right? What doesn't kill you makes you stronger. You're not seeing the blessings here, but this was a blessing in disguise and or is a blessing in disguise in January. Your heart is healing, exactly. You feel this, this decision that has been, you wanted this blessing to be, to be with this person. You are with this person. Whatever this means to you from childhood, this is going to make you stronger, Aries. This needs to turn upright, okay? So you have not yet completely healed from the changes that have been happening in your life, all right? You've had, you have to heal completely in order also to receive these blessings, okay? So let's continue. So whatever doesn't kill you makes you stronger, but you need to, you need to cleanse your heart and keep healing and allow yourself time to do this, okay? This is going back to your childhood, Aries. It's your ego, and that's why you're reversed. You're facing yourself. You're looking at your soul counterpart, truly, and looking at the things you don't like in yourself are being shown to you. They're magnifying in this card, depicting this, this card. It's magnifying you and you're not out of it. You're not out of the darkness and into the light because you're reversed, which means basically you have not, you don't see the expansion growth potential that this reading has allowed or this growth and this healing and this blessing in disguise is giving to you. You don't see it You because you don't want to. And because you're healing. All right. Here's two nines. 18 is a nine. Sorry. 18 is a nine. And the five and four is a nine. So you have two nines. You're at the end of this cycle. You're at the end of this cycle where all the blessings, this blessing in disguise for you is is not what you expected. That's why you're reversed. And now you're healing your ego because what you thought wasn't. What you thought didn't happen. What you wanted to base this solid foundation is requiring you to look at this as yourself. Look at this from a point of it's a blessing in disguise because what you've experienced here is all about you and healing your childhood, right? The things that didn't work out. When we look at the things that are ending in our lives, we look at them from a standpoint of you have to look at this as it's yourself because it is. Everyone surrounding us and in our vicinity are just mirrors reflections of who we are and what we need to learn and hallelujah you're going to be triumphant in healing and in seeing the blessings of this partnership potentially either bringing in blessings that now we're going to give and receive and expand or we're moving forward stronger than ever right the victory, the victory is all about, is all about the strength that you have acquired during this time of your shadow self. 
So what I'm hearing is you kind of met your match with this Queen of Swords, right? You thought that this was all going to go one way and it went another way. And this made you, this made you unhappy because really and truly the result of what happened, the result was that you were trying to just heal from your past. You're trying to heal your childhood wound still. And you, you've been trying for a while now to heal this. And that's why now it's finally coming to basically to a head where you're gaining the strength so that you can move forward in your life. Aries, you need to move forward. You guys are all about moving forward and finding that personal power again and your self-esteem. You are now coming into that right here in January. And then you have to make a choice. Where do I go from here? What do I do now? It's a five. You have two fives. So you are dealing with a lot of changes in your life. Unexpected changes, but no, no less blessings in disguise. So you've been caught up in mentally overthinking, obsessively thinking, just way too much, right? Trying to figure it out, trying to figure out what happened, how it happened, why it happened, and how do I heal from this? It's a blessing in disguise, but yet it's still hard to muster up the courage to get out of your head about it because you're in your head a lot about now, where do I go? So a lot of this is your head is trying to figure out your moving on next steps, right? While your head's trying to think of where do I go from here, your heart is healing, okay? And this is how you're building a strong foundation now. But it's going to take some time in the month of January to try to allow your heart to heal, okay? And try to not be so much overly thinking about, okay, now what do I do? This didn't work out. It's a blessing in disguise. The, the blessing came in. I'm healing from it. I get it. I want to move on. I'm stronger now. But now, like, try to try to allow yourself to be in the void of not knowing. Be comfortable with not knowing. I know it's hard to do. And here you are, constantly thinking, constantly deciding, having anxiety over what do I do? How do I fix it? How do I go about it? This is very aggressive as well. Look at all the yellow here, right? And your card is all yellow. You're the emperor, right? So you're constantly trying to figure out stuff to allow yourself to get your personal power back, which you will right here. You will, you will become much stronger with this, but you need to give yourself time to heal. You need to give yourself time to understand how this, this, you've met your match, how this has in, imparted so many lessons for you in your life from your childhood. Okay? Whatever doesn't work out, doesn't work out for a reason. Okay? It's not for anything else as like, that's why we say it was a blessing in disguise. These are two big blessings coming to you between this Queen of Swords. And all you're doing right now is constantly thinking about it in your head, about what to do, feeling powerless because, you know, you may be angry. You may feel this is in, an injustice, right? You may be feeling like, you know, angry. 
anxiety. And then we have two sevens. So we have two nines and two sevens. Seven and five and two is seven, okay? So you have two sevens, two nines, and also on this side you have, I, I'm sorry, you have the two nines here and the two sevens. So what am I thinking? And I just heard it, 1997 was a huge year for you. 1997, 1987, anything ending in a seven, 207 or eight. I don't know why I'm hearing this. So if you have had significant things happen to you in, in, a, in the year ending 07 or 17 or nine, right? That could also be your birth year. It is going to play significantly upon you. Healing once more. You have to get over this, Aries, sun, moon, rising, and Venus. You have to allow this healing to happen. You need to gain your strength in a way that you're cleaning the slate, you're going to clean this slate of, of defeat that you feel, you know, that didn't work out, okay? All right. And speaking, while well, you're not speaking, there's no communication here. There's also, you know, I'm, there's lies that were told, perhaps, there could have been withdrawal because of it. People didn't want to, you know, this could have been you and someone else not wanting to talk about this. This could be your, this could be just you dealing with it, your parents and trying to heal as a child. But I really think this is the Queen of Swords doing that. And it could be you because it's also about you. It's your shadow meeting your enlightened self. Okay. So you're trying to heal this and balance everything out. And in the meantime, there's been no communication, if any at all. There's been withdrawal. There's There could be an excess of just, you know, someone is excessively independent and doesn't, you know, this Queen of Swords doesn't need anybody. She decides when she wants someone. And typically, so does the emperor. Because when you reach that pinnacle of empress emperor, you're dealing with a situation where you've gained a lot of knowledge and understanding. So that's where you're, that's how you're growing in this situation, Aries. You're growing and becoming through this blessing in disguise. Okay. But you need to heal. So you do need to continue healing so that you can what? Move forward. You're going to move forward. You're going to, you're ending up getting your personal power back and moving into something really, really dynamic. You do have three fives here now. Um, I noticed this is the five. Okay. Five of swords is all about, you know, negative thinking, lies, and, you know, uh, fighting a battle that can't be won, so to speak, or someone thinks they won and they didn't in the in the right or weight deck. So you have three fives. So Aries, you have massive changes here. Massive. This Queen of Swords could also be an ex-wife who was a mother to your children. I just heard it. And you're the father or vice versa. Okay. All right. You're now healing this past and now you're going you're going through growth changes in your soul's growth. Know that this growth is giving and making you stronger and giving you a sense of empowerment again to move forward. Look. And to speak your truth. 
and now we have success as your truth. Your Ace of Swords is all about, okay, I'm going to, I'm going to, I want to tell someone something. I want to move forward and I want to communicate, maybe even if you haven't been completely honest with someone else, then this could be your time to do so, especially since there's been no communication and it's not about just a lie. It could be just something you want to tell someone that you haven't been able to tell them or there could have been stuff that was not seen before. And now, you know, you see something or you understand it. Whatever truth this is for you, now you're getting it. Now you understand it. And who holds the sword? Is the queen of swords, right? This queen's sword is here. So maybe you're going to reach out and talk about your loss, feeling empty, feeling alone in this whole situation. Maybe you haven't felt like you could talk about it, but now you can from a way, from a, a way of relaying the message to someone instead of lashing out and being aggressive. You know, aggressive communication is different than a successful communication of, okay, you know, I really wanted to be with you. I thought we were, this is, this was the goal, right? Reaching the goal. This is the castle and this is the castle. This is the end all be all. But instead I have to walk away from it. And now I understand why. Maybe you've come to the realization at some point now after the silence is golden, I'm hearing. Silence is golden. Golden. Silence. This silence and this card of moving forward has given you a chance to really understand. Right? That sometimes now you can understand it more clearly than you did before. Because there's been... Like you can see here, the contradiction. Look, no communication, communication. And in between it, moving forward. Moving for to what? The golden light. <coughs> Excuse me. The golden light. The sun. See, this could be a sun with a father issue here. Seriously. All right, so just be, just... See how it relates to your situation. But this could be about you growing up as a child and healing some things from the past that came to the surface now at the end of this year, 2019, and now you're understanding how everything is unfolding, okay? And now you're understanding that you need to move forward. The universe is the number eight card saying it's time. Silence is golden. Now you've got a clear understanding, a successfully clear understanding of what that Queen of Swords means to you. You understand that your, sorry for the reach over, that your upset is this blessing in disguise, even though you may not have seen it or see it as of yet. <laughs> wow. You are really bound by this praying. This loss is getting to you. You've got to get out of it, and you will. You just need time to heal, Aries. You really do. You just need time to transform this and go with the flow. Just go with the flow, okay? I am going to take one more. Go with the flow because this was meant to be. This is something that comes, this is from the universe. This was a blessing in disguise. And I don't know how you see it in your situation, but it doesn't look like it, but it is. And the last card is exactly. So someone was deceptive because that's the, that's the throat chakra closing means there were lies. Someone didn't tell the whole story 
Either you didn't, Aries, or someone wasn't telling the whole story about what has happened here. Is this the story of your childhood? Is this the story of you with this Queen of Swords that you're not relaying to others? Maybe not even to yourself. I don't want to end on this card, so let's go with one more. Wow, look. <laughs> so this to you is your love. This is your the love, like, right? The love of your life. It depicts this card perfectly. You have met your match. And now whatever healing has transpired from your childhood, this karmic cycle has finally been closed. And I think that's the blessing in disguise. And this is your person. And you didn't know it. Okay. That's kind of heavy, right? <laughs> okay. Let's do romance angel cards. Just, I mean, come on. All right. And underneath that, I'm going, I'm going for it. Let's do it. Because I feel bad. Aries, have hope that maybe something from the universe will bring you back together with this person who you see now as your other half. Right? Let it just go be still and allow things to unfold. You need to release your ex. It just came out. I just saw it as I'm shuffling. So maybe this is your ex. Maybe this is an ex-lover, ex-partner, ex-wife. Maybe you need to release an ex-wife. Look, childhood just came up and heart-to-heart -heart conversations. So you have some work. I'm feeling, Aries, that you guys have some work to do in, in your love sector of how you see yourself is everything. How you have allowed yourself, or should I say not allowed yourself the time to heal, is everything. And this has come out from your childhood. So all this stuff that's happening is because you needed to heal childhood issues of your mom and dad. And because this could possibly be your counterpart, so you're both healing family issues here. Both of you have the same thing going on here. Right? And the good news is you still have hope. Okay, so let's continue. Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for the month of January 2020. A new decade, a new life, a new direction. How is this going to unfold for Aries? Oh, jeez. Wow. A reconciliation, perhaps, with a past life person. It doesn't, it could be this Queen of Swords. Okay, it could. This could be a reconciliation from someone that you have been trying to heal from. That could be the blessing, right? The blessing could be you both have healed yourself yourselves and have transformed the relationship. The blessing is the transformation of this relationship into a reconciliation. If that is that what it is, if not, it's, it could be a past life relationship, but I don't feel that with this card. I really don't. And look at all the, look at all the blue spirit. Spirit really has your back Aries. Spirit has your back. This, the blessing could also be the blessing of healing. Because that is a gift, you know, to be completely healed in order to gain the knowledge that you need in order to reconcile. And not from a, an ego standpoint, from more from a natural standpoint, being the, the mother nature, the mother, the 
provider of the mother and father, okay? Heart to heart conversations. Well, we had it with this. Now we're gonna talk. Someone's gonna make the move to say, okay, I haven't given you all the information that you needed. I was withholding some information here and I need to tell you something. And that which you may speak about could heal and transform both of you into a reconciliation. I hear amen, turn the page. I don't know why I heard that. All right, and this one. And then we have religious factors. Well, you know, we go, this card is an interesting card because they're saying it's religious. Someone's more religious, the other's spiritual. And nowadays everyone says, well, I'm, I'm spiritual, I'm not religious. Well, in actuality, spirituality is religion, right? And how do I say that? Because we believe in one God. If you don't have any beliefs, then you can't even call it a religion. That is a religion in, in itself, if you're agnostic. Or atheist, I meant. Both. Okay, so the bottom line is you have different opinions of, I'm thinking of what a love relationship looks like. That's how I'm feeling this card to be. Your, your, your goals in a relationship might just vary with your, the person that you are wanting to settle down with and have this heart to heart conversation. This could be about, well, I want to get married. Well, I don't. Or I'm ready to get married. I want you. Well, it could play out in many ways, right? We know. Okay. So the, the issue could be also about an age difference, even though it's influenced by a religious upbringing and spiritual path. The spiritual path to me is not an age difference. I don't see this as age as much as I see this as one wants to get married and the other doesn't. And now look at, you know, you have these angels behind you, each of you, right? And what's interesting to me is the feminine is talking to the masculine, right? Who's setting the boundaries? I think it's the feminine. I really do. I think the feminine is setting the boundaries for the relationship. And he's listening, right? The masculine is listening, <laughs> right? And she's holding his hand. It's very sweet. It's very tender. So an honest discussion is coming. And it's going to be about this relationship. Let's get one more. It's going to be about this relationship. If you don't know this person, this person will feel like home to you because you are coming back to... <laughs> I was just going to say, it is a past life relationship. This is also, a soulmate is usually a relationship whereby you have the six of cups here, right? So this relationship from childhood came back around again in this lifetime for you because it's a soulmate relationship, which means you have to even out the, the score, the balance, right? It has to be leveled up on the same playing field. That's why relationships that are soulmates come back to us, not just, they're not just lovers, they're, they're, they could be friends, they could be family members, right? But a very clear distinction of wanting to go home with this person, it makes you feel really good inside, makes you feel like home. There's no, um, there's no reason to pretend when you're with someone who makes you feel like home. 
as you can see, the masculine is very much here depicting in these both in both of these pictures. The masculine is very much involved with the feminine here, right? And here, the feminine is, is doing the talking. This is a passionate new, a passionate reconciling of soulmates. It's going to be like you're going, you, fe you feel like you're home. Again, express your love. So now we have two masculine and feminine, two people looking at each other, and now they're on the same playing field. They're looking at one another. Wow. And he's holding her tight, like, I am never letting you go, right? And she's got her head kind of on his shoulder, like, I got it, right? All right, I'm going to, I'm going to pull a couple more cards, but I have to pause this for a minute. Okay, Aries, beautiful reading. All right, I'm going to pull an Ascended Master Archangel card for you. And then I have one other card that I decided it's, it's a new decade. We need to just, we need to, I just want to do it also for the year. The last card is going to be my roomy cards and it's going to be for the entire year, not just for January. Okay. Ascended Masters, Archangels, give us one card for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for January, please. That's it right there. Okay. Your card is charity. So charity is beautiful. And what does she do? She's praying. She's praying. And around her are roses, which is love. Praying about love. Contemplating love. Connect with heaven. And that's exactly what you're going to be doing. And ask and you shall receive. Okay, so remember when I said in the beginning of this reading, there's a lot of, which there always is, okay? I'm not going to say there isn't. Heaven is, heaven is, imagine no heaven, right? You can't imagine there's no heaven. I love John Lennon's song, but you can't imagine there's no heaven. Why? Because it's within us. And maybe that's what, I mean, at, at some point, John Lennon was trying to express that to us, that the heaven is within us and above us only sky. And the hell is the hell that we make for ourselves, the ego, the, the hatred, the anger that happens in, you know, society today. That's just the hell that people make for themselves. Heaven is working to send you so many blessings, Aries. So ask and you shall receive. If you're praying that this becomes a reconciliation, then know that it will. All right? If you're dealing with a mother and or father figure on the other side, pray to them. If you don't believe in angels, which, you know, that's like, I'm not even going to get into that. I can't even believe there are people that don't, right? Of course. Sorry, I was messing with my hair. The beauty of YouTube. <laughs> okay. This could be healing a mother and or a father issue also that is part of your blessing so that you can also move, move on and get into reconciling with your past. So now I'm taking this roomy card these are my favorite cards other than my journey of i think i'll do a journey card as well okay let's take a roomy card first our brother roomy we ask for one card for the sign of aries sun moon rising and venus this 
Rumi, I'm asking for this card as an annual card for the year of 2020 for the sign of Aries. One card for Aries, please. And this is it. Aries, you have entered the Garden of Delights. Look how beautiful this card is. Look at the card here and here. Right? The delights of growth. Your soul is going to soar with healing and growth for the entire year. You're going to just, just grow as a person. It, your soul is going to grow. You're learning so much. You're healing so much. The number is a 28, which is a 1. Balancing out as above, so below. Understanding as above, so below. Some of you are just realizing how much of an impact the universe has on us all the time. Okay, let me get my roomy book, 28. I'm just going to read, wow, it just came up. That's really great. I'm just going to read the poem. Are you aware that sweetness is found everywhere in town? Are you aware that winter is gone and spring has come around? Are you aware that sweet basil and the carnation are whispering in the garden and laughing about how simply everything is found? Are you aware the nightingale has come back from its flight, singing out messages of love to spread delight with every sound? Everything in the garden is granted the right from the divine court to appear for our delight. Everything is here to make the earth green and alive as a haven for our life. What remains buried in the soil will always endeavor to reach out. No one truly alive can ever be pawned to a prison or a tomb. This roomy card is like a midwife. It's your midwife, there to ensure your full spiritual birth. That's exactly what's happening here. You are being reborn again, Aries. You are healing and being reborn into a whole new, whole new growth. Your soul is growing, you're soaring, and you're healing your father issues. If you are the father, then you're healing your, yourself. Okay. Beautiful. All right. Now I'm going to do my second favorite cards, which are the Journey of Love cards for the beautiful sign of Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. I do ask that this card, angels and spirit guides, be sent for the complete year of 2020 for the beautiful Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for the year. I would move the I would move the camera down, but you can see it's shuffling. Okay. One card, please. <laughs> knowing without knowing. <laughs> That's one of my favorite cards. It's a 41. So now, Aries, listen up. You guys have, I think, four number fives in your reading. So massive, massive change, changes are coming in for you. And you have new, new beginnings, okay? All right, let me get to number 41. Great, great reading. One of the best. I am going to read this for you. This is for the year. Sometimes the heart knows in a way that the concrete mind, which we had, and memory cannot. We feel something that we can't quite express. Again, right? Perhaps others are quick to dismiss it as meaningless whimsy or irrationality 
Yet that feeling beyond the mind's capacity to fully perceive is the ancient truth of your greater self reaching through time and space to connect with you. I'm telling you, you have angelic forces and or people helping you, Aries, without question. Mom, dad, spirit guides, all blessings for you. Like a phone line extending from a more ancient place in the world, you can hear its crackle perhaps. Not the clearest reception, yet you can also sense the love traveling along the telephone line. The things that you feel and that do not appear to make sense are the things that you should trust now more than ever. You are being, I'm, I lost my voice there. You need to trust. You are being guided by a force far greater than your own mind. An ancient divine brilliance is reaching to you, communicating with you. You may not hear or understand it with great clarity yet, but you can feel it and trust what you feel. This oracle speaks to you about opening up to your higher mind of the part of your intelligence that can dialogue directly with the forces of divine guidance and creation, which means a lot of you Aries are communicating with the other side, trying to get insight, praying, right? We had praying here. We have charity, praying. You are praying. You are receiving many downloads. Okay. These forces use symbols, abstract communication through dreams and visions, through impulses that circumvent your conscious mind and have words streaming out of your mouth or flowing through your mind that you have not created of your own volition. Someone speaks to you and you respond with words that you feel are hear you're hearing for the first time as they pour out of your mouth. Whose words are these, you wonder? It is your ancient self that speaks. Trust the strange and mysterious at this time. This is awesome. It is another way, an ancient way of wisdom that you are tapping into now. Enjoy this new sacred connection unfolding. Hello. This oracle is also confirmation that you have relationships around you now and continuing to come to you that are from times long past. <laughs> wow. Karmic connections that will take you further on your journey of love. The poem speaks as so. I have been here before. Aromas open the doors. I walk through knowing. Wow, I just got the chills. All right, Aries, I wish you such, I send you such love. I wish you all the blessings of a beautiful year and starting your January, your January off on the right footing. Clearly you are, you are being bestowed many blessings, Aries. Um, for all of us to be grateful for, right? If you need any reading, if you, um, I'm going to be on Vimeo. I'm going to start a subscription on athenaonemuse.com. Um, you can find me um, on athenaonemuse.com. Uh, I'm going, I have my merchandise there. I'm going to be putting new merchandise in the year. My year is going to be expanding and explosive. I do want to start selling my crystals and my oils. I do have my visionary t-shirts and sweatshirts and whatever else I would, you would like. I can get hats, etc. for each and every one of you. Um, if you need any biofeedback healing, mind, body, and soul, what does that mean? I can do um, acupuncture, remote healing as such. Um, I can, I can, uh, I also have the capacity of um, Reiki healing. Emotional healing is huge. I've been getting a lot of requests for that. And what it is, is on my biofeedback computer, I can clear your energy 
physically, emotionally, you know, mentally clear out the clutter, clearing out your chakras. We can look at what blocks you have also. Um, I am a biofeedback practitioner, so I can do many things to also crystallize and purify your body to become um, less blocked with negative energies, okay? Um, I also, of course, do readings for all. Um, I will continue to do my dailies, but I'm also going to expand those into expanded readings as well on Vimeo. Okay, I wish you great happiness, abundance, love, prosperity, and everything that it is that you shall be desiring in the month and year, most definitely, of 2020. 2-2 two, two is all about balance and relationship. And you have, you have it all here. And it, it's not that you don't know, because you do. Probably you know more than some, whoever else you're dealing with in this reading has any idea of or concept of. Um, okay, hit me up if you need anything. I'm here for you. Bye.